Well, since the start of the year, five people have been shot and killed in Portsmouth. One of those victims was a teenager. Tonight, our Raven Payne spoke with an activist who gets his thoughts on how the city can move forward. It's only February and there's been so much bloodshed in Portsmouth. It leaves residents and activists wondering how to make the city a safer place. Portsmouth has had a violent start to 2024. Five people, including a teenager, have been shot and killed in the city in the first two months of the year. And something activist Barry Randall Jenkins calls shocking, saying fixing the violence must start at home. I would say that it comes from the lack of um, parental control. Um, a lot of our citizens, especially people of color, we lack um, conflict resolution skills. We, we lack um, empathy for our fellow brothers and sisters here. He tells me he believes a lack of education contributes to the crime we've seen in Portsmouth this year. As I drive through the city, I see during the week, I see um, children in the streets at doing school hours. And again, we now have a affordable, free public education. And I think a lot of that, it comes from poverty and it comes from illiteracy. And that's the recipe for crime. He says making Portsmouth a better place also falls on the shoulders of the city. He praised city officials for the work they've done, but says no one sees it because of the rate of violence. We have so many great positive things happening in the city, but it's overshadowed. Why? Because again, we have people that don't understand how to handle and govern their emotions. So they're reaching for guns. They don't understand that you can talk your problems out. You don't always have to shoot and kill someone else because that is final. Barry tells me he has an upcoming event with other city leaders on how to move Portsmouth forward. Head on over to wavy.com for more details. Raven Payne, tell on your side.